OK, class. We've looked a little bit at what economics is in our last class. Today, we're going to focus on uh, two types of economics, microeconomics and macroeconomics. To review a little first, economics is the study of how people deal with resources. Do you all remember the concept of scarcity? Scarcity describes the availability of a resource. If a resource is readily available, its scarcity and value is low. If a resource is hard to get, it is considered scarce, and its value will be high. OK? Enough of reviewing the basics. Let's get to micro and macro economics. When we think of economics on a personal or individual level, we are mainly discussing the area of microeconomics. Remember, micro means small, so microeconomics is small-scale economics. Microeconomics, then, deals with the individual people or businesses that make up a national economy. So, people who study microeconomics study about the income and spending habits of individuals. They study how much money people make and how those people spend their money. For example, they look at the popular items that people buy. They study how the supply of different items, in other words, their scarcity, affects spending patterns. This study on an individual level again is the basis of microeconomics. If microeconomics is small-scale economics, then, and I hope you all see where I'm going with this, macroeconomics is large-scale economics. Macroeconomics is concerned with how a society as a whole earns and spends money. In this case, macroeconomists study how much money people are earning in general. They also look at uh, how people all across the country spend their money. This kind of information can tell us how an entire country operates. For example, how does a country make its money? And how does a country spend its money? And how does the scarcity of certain resources affect this making and spending of money? This information helps national governments decide which industries and resources to invest their money in. As you continue to study economics, you will always work with the concept of scarcity. You must also be familiar with both branches of economics, microeconomics and macroeconomics. It is likely that you will need to understand these general concepts no matter which one of these you are more interested in.